Yannick Sinner versus Carlos Alcaraz is the final of Beijing for 2024. Both players have been very impressive to get to this stage. Alcaraz entered the tournament as the number two seed and will take on Piracar in the first round. And after a couple of close sets, would get through 6 4 6 4. In the second round, he take on Greek Spore. This is no problem for Alcaraz getting through in straights. 6 1 6 2. Quarterfinals, he take on the number seven seed Hashinov, a man that he'd never lost a set to in his career. And after a close first set, Alcaraz would again get through in straights 7 5 6 2 to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Alcaraz will take on Medvedev, the number three seed, who had beaten three times in a row in their previous meetings. And after a close first set, Alcaraz would get through in straights, 7-5-6-3, to advance to the final. Sinner entered the tournament as the number one seed, and would take on Jarry in the first round. And after losing the first set, would fight back to win, 4-6-6-3-6-1. In the second round, he'd take on Safulin, and again, after dropping the first set, would be forced to fight back to win, 3-6-6-2-6-3. In the quarterfinals, he'd take on Lehechka, who'd beaten Batista Agu in a three-setter in the second round. And after winning the first set, Sinner would save match points to win the second, getting through in straights, 6-2-7-6, to advance to the semifinals. In the semi-finals, he'd take on the wildcard Boo, who had taken out both Musetti and Rublev along the way. And again, after winning the first set, Sinner would be forced into a tiebreak in the second, getting through in straights, 6-3, 7-6, to advance to the final. These guys have played nine times before with Elkrez leading 5-4 in the head-to-head, including 4-2 on hard courts. However, when they played here 12 months ago, but Elkrez has won their last two matches this year, one in Indian Wells and one in Roland Garros. So on the slower courts this season, being all Elkrez, but Sinner, being on the quicker courts, if he can lift his game, he might be the favorite in this one. If Elkrez is going to win this one, he needs to return as well as he has been against everybody else this week. And he also needs to hold on to the brakes because against Medvedev, he broke and then gave it straight back. So he's got to make sure that he does hold on to the brakes in this one against Yannick Sinner because Sinner's not that charitable. Also, he needs to try and not complain so much about the time clock because he's getting time violations and he's not been happy about it. He can't use that as a distraction or have that have a distraction if he is going to beat Sinner. If Sinner's going to win this one, he needs to get off to a really good start and needs to maintain the level because this week, he's either lost the first set or he's almost lost the second set in all of his matches, so he needs to make sure that he does keep his level, because you can't dip against Alcaraz and think he can get away with it, especially the way that Alcaraz has played over the last couple of weeks. Really fun final, of course, the number one and two in the world, as of next week's rankings, because Alcaraz has been promoted into that number two spot. I'm gonna go with Alcaraz in this one, to break the streak of Sinner. I know it's a little bit unpopular, but I'm gonna go with him. I reckon he's been much better this week, and he hasn't lost a set all week. Sinner, he's had his moments where, you know, he's lost some sets here and there, so I'm gonna go Alcaraz in three sets, but let me know in the comments below who's gonna win the final.